everyone, I'm Ezioda and today we get 2v2 on Unun on patch 1.0.8. Our players are as follow, Luigi playing as man, his ally is going to be Gludar playing as Isengard and their opponents. We got EOW Nathan playing as Goblins and his ally is Luxus, EOW Luxus playing as Dwarf. So basically Dwarf is starting with two mine shafts in the front and the back. He's going with first one and the fourth, as we can see. And uh, Luigi is going with a barracks, double barracks actually. Gluder is going for... Okay, and there are two furnaces. First and we gonna see barrack or even work pit. On the other side Nathan is going with Goblin Cave. And what is going on with Dwarf? Dwarf is going for Archer range instead of Half Warriors. Maybe it's going to be mix. Because he got four mine shafts already in his base. So definitely enough economy to create both Archer range and Half Warriors. And X actually happened. So we got Luigi. He's going to spam some soldiers of Gondor in the beginning, creating some more farms, uh, overcoming his opponent. Uh, if he's going to microing well and destroying as much as possible of those mine shafts, he will definitely w it could won him the game, at least in the beginning. Very good spread and in the beginning of the fight, in the beginning of the game, from the left and right side. Just avoid detection as as long as possible. Here we go with some axe throwers. First battalion appear from uh, Luxus already, and there is a beacon pointed uh, pointed by by man player Luigi. Here comes Forest from a man player, and let's check others. How we get over here? Isengard versus Goblin. It always it's not that easy. But of course, with work riders, he should be okay. One furnaces may go down. Yes, and this furnaces will go down. Goblin take it and uh, achieve level three for his goblin warriors. What's happened over here? Axe throwers and guardians push back those uh, sources of Gondor over here as well. Nothing's happened yet. Uh, as we can see, Luxus is going uh, for mineshaft near his uh, teammate's base to just back up as a backup plan. And uh, Nathan is going for three goblin caves in the beginning, uh, at, at the moment, while his opponent is going with uh, more furnaces, trying to establish uh, some nice setup over here in his base. So Gluder got two battalions of work riders chasing uh, one goblin unit. It's not very effective. His teammate uh, Luigi is going for stables at the moment, and there is in the middle some nice attempt, some nice attack from the man towards Goblin. And Dwarf is trying to deal as much as possible of the damage. And here comes Work Riders on the top of all those axe throwers with Hawk. And yeah, axe throwers will be definitely killed over here with ease, with relative ease. All those patterns will go down and war riders most likely will get level 2 after they kill all those axe throwers. In the meantime, mm, Luigi is going with his uh, soldiers of Gondor towards the uh, tunnels of uh, Nathan. And Nathan got some kind of troubles over here. Established base. He's losing mineshaft, uh, he's losing tunnel after tunnel while his teammate is uh, definitely killing all those guardians did appear in the in his sight. So another tunnel is going down. Mm, Nathan is still only with Goblin Warriors, uh, definitely doing a great job uh, trying to defend, but of course he lost so much already. But he is still as well attack his opponent with Goblin Warriors. Uh, lots of furnaces going down over here. I think uh, three at least goes down at the moment, but Luigi's base is still in, in good shape. No one to get uh, the signal fire, 
Luigi is going with uh, Gondor knights and more soldiers of Gondor, while his opponent uh, Luxus is going for Pacmans as well as more axe throwers. So definitely both of the mm, opposing teams trying their best. Nathan could go for some goblin archers and to kill those uh, soldiers of Gondor faster, but of course it's not necessary. Mm. Works level 4 already. Gluder got to be aware. And look out on yourself. At last, uh, the Luigi is taking this uh, signal fire. His power points will uh, regenerate a little bit faster. Work riders going into the goblins achieve level 3 already. There is another battalion of work riders trying to destroy the tunnel from Nathan. Nathan doesn't have anything to protect himself, but to be honest, he's only got this spam of goblin warriors that it's not that effective against the uh, work riders, of course. And he's losing battalion after battalion. But of course, if we will get into the enemy's base, he will definitely make some damage towards the furnaces at least. Three battalions of work riders already on the field. It's definitely too much for goblins. Man trying to fight with uh, dwarf. Dwarf got axe throwers and pikemen for his disposal. And we got stables on level 2 from Luigi. He's going for uh, Rohirrim already. And he's not spamming uh, from the barrack oh, at the moment. So he got no resources for it uh, at the time. More and more um, pikemen with axe throwers appear to protect his base. Luxus is doing fantastic job over here. Nathan is going for a spider pet. A really good um, macro over here near this one tunnel to protect it. Mm, of course, um, Nathan is going to lose another tunnel. And all those goblin warriors, when they appear on the field... Oh my god, what is, what is Gluder doing? You should definitely get away over here. All those goblin warriors are stuck over here. And now it's time for him to roll over those goblins. What he is actually doing, and good bug, I think, heal those mm, war riders at the moment. We got uh, tower guards from Luigi. I don't know why. Maybe against those uh, pikemen that we uh, against this uh, spiderlings and spiders that he saw when he's when he's attacking Nathan by base. More and more goblin warriors, more and more links. Um, Nathan is quaking units, as we can see, three units of goblin warriors. It's not necessarily the best idea. Mm. Raw is up here. And uh, Gludar is saved for this moment. He's trying to rebuild some furnaces, and economy will will appear for him soon. Here comes um, man. Luigi is trying to get into the mine shafts. Of course, um, Dwarf doesn't have anything over here in his base. He's only protecting his uh, his teammate. And still, War Rider is doing fantastic job um, killing everything that appear. Even those uh, links are not the best idea to fight against uh, War Riders at least on level 3, on level 5, on level 5. Of course, War Riders get to kill them all. You, you, you cannot out outrun uh, links that you will see at the moment. Good cover by Gludar. He is going out of the Crabines and get Hog ability. So he is buffed, 50% damage is done. And, can, and he can move forward. Um, I mean, he should definitely came back to his fortress and heal those units. They're very viable. Now it's counterattack from Dwarf. Lots of units, lots of pikemen and axe throwers with rank on it, all them. More and more work riders will appear. More and more um, Urukais as well, but uh, I don't think so. It's going to be enough for um, Gludar to 
to stay alive. He's trying to create some mm, lonely tower near the fortress to just uh, get as much damage as possible. Nathan appears as well with his links. He's going to destroy some furnaces and maybe catch some builders. Good sep uh, setup for dwarf. Lots, lots of axe throwers and the uh, back line and in the front line those pikemans. Of course, pikemans should definitely take care about mm, protecting those axe throwers a little bit better. <coughs> And now work riders and uh, knights will appear on top of uh, axe throwers. No, 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 no. Pikeman is almost uh, in the right position. And Gluder is forcing to create as much as possible. He's going with some towers expansions. Mm. Lots of work riders will go into the pikemen. So they will be instantly killed. Uh, Nathan is going for furnaces while his teammate is going for um, Uruk pet. He may lose lots of this in this fight, I mean dwarf. He's not dealing that much damage as you would like to, to, uh, him to see, to, uh, to make. And I think this fight will end um, in Gluder's favor even because uh, he will lose only this Uruk pet and I don't think so the dwarf will push forward. No, Dwarf decided to get back a bit. In the meantime, Man is going for Dwarf at the moment. He saw that uh, Dwarf got lots of units, lots of mine shafts, so he is going to repel it with sorts of Gondor. Some Rothian Riders appear as well with Bone Mode and dealing damage towards Axe Rowers just a little bit. War Riders appear to protect uh, his base. Gluder is trying to protect his base. He, pikemen are out of position from mm, Luxus, and now Axe Throwers will be definitely crushed over here. And still, um, Luigi is doing definitely a good job. We got Cologne on the field, the level 2 on defensive stance. And there is lots of yellow in the map. While there should be green all the time. As we can see, even this uh, half warriors have been destroyed by Luigi while mm, Dwarf and Goblin was attacking Isengard base. A little bit uh, miscontrolled by Luigi. He will lose lots of raw hearings. Uh, actually, he was able to get back over here. War Riders should get away as well. Some pikemen and goblin warriors still trying to destroy as, ma as much furnaces as it's possible. And they are now saved. Man and mm, Isengard are completely saved at the moment. We got Gloin, uh, Gimli on the field, as well as Gloin um, previously. But still, Luigi is dealing definitely a good amount of damage towards everything that appeared, towards every last of those uh, mine shafts. Half warriors have been recreate, and now it's time for Gludar to recreate his uh, side of the map. He got lots of work riders, even one on level seven. He got some kind of um, lumber mills in the base of his teammate, but here we go. Nathan with lots of uh, goblin warriors forces. Here comes uh, work riders, uh, like four battalions, with those two as well. We got uh, lures on the field, so those goblin wa warriors will be crushed at the moment. Uh, links appear on the base of Luigi as well, but Luigi got already mm, raw hirims that will definitely kill them all. So it's not a threat. We got furnaces will be created by uh, Nathan. Nathan got um, spider riders pit, spider pit on level 2 as well, so we got access to spider riders. We got uh, Luxus Gimli on level 3 with a lap and axe throw. Here comes uh, Dwarf with his uh, Hobbit Summon as well as uh, Pikemans on top of uh, Work Pit that got destroyed. Mm, 
those hobbits deal enough damage towards the work pit. Lynx still are going to be chased by um, Rohirims, as we can see. So Nathan is uh, trying his best with those. As we can see, Dwarf is doing as well as a good job over here, destroying some farms. And it forces Gludar to just appear in the base of his opponent, he's going towards it. Luigi is trying to destroy us, uh, kill all those links that appear on his base, but links are definitely faster. What do we get here? Another Hall of Warriors. As we rem remember, Luxus got his Gimli and Gloin. He's moving forward, he doesn't have a mind trap near those two heroes, but definitely he will leveling up on Gludar's uh, furnaces and other stuff. So we get links getting back, a little bit chasing those um, Rohirrim. It's good micro by Nathan so far. And uh, here we go, Gludar is going with his uh, army. We got Weizmann of Down and Salmon mm, from Nathan as the defensive. We got uh, Lures on level 1. We got Spider Riders on Bone Mode. Lots of uh, two battalions of Goblin Warriors. Fisher will get level 2, so he get access to Haltrum Marauders uh, to repel Walk Riders. Um, but overall, it looks like that Nathan will be able to succeed and he protecting base perfectly. Let's check the the base from man that will get some troubles over here. Level seven on war riders from Glu uh, from Gluder. Luxus uh, pushing forward. Luigi got to create some more stuff, some more units, but it looks like he doesn't have much. He got only some kind of. Um, Gondor soldiers and um, two battal three battalions of Rohirrims and pikemen. It's not going to be enough, at least not for the Gimli that will receive almost level 5. Land have been used over here, so mm, Luigi is ready to defend. Here comes mm, Salmon Dunedain's Rangers with long shot. so definitely good call by here, um, here by Luxus to get back and wait till those uh, Dunadine's Rangers disappear or maybe he's only brought more units over here it may be uh, such a good decision as well well you get those two heroes here comes Boromir Longshot is going to be used the running call have been threw down if Lux has succeeded with uh, spread his units or those units will be killed all of them a little bit oh crap all of them are in low health but of course all the um, long shots have been used here comes uh, Gimli, he can use Lib as well as Axe Row with relativities, kill them all. Here comes Rohirims on top of uh, on top of Axe Rowers, here comes Lib as well as we saw um, Slum have been used. Mindshaft still available for Luxus, Luxus get to get away with his Gloin. Boromir is trying to deal damage, he's still on level 1. How about um, Gludor and um, Nathan? Nathan is dealing um, pretty much a good amount of damage towards his opponent, pushing his opponent's back. Gludor mm, got Sharku for its uh, disposal. And Nathan is still pushing towards uh, now towards a man. He saw that uh, he got trouble over here, so he will make it mm, even more. Here is Dwarf that is going back. He's not going to help his teammate deal more damage towards Luigi. Now Gludar is trying to help his teammate uh, getting all his uh, troops over here. And now uh, Luxus decided to get back with his army. Lots of uh, Dunadine's Ranger is still alive. Level 2 on Boromir. On level 3 he will get Horn of Gondor. Two half warriors from Dwarf. And Isengard pushing back a bit. Mm, 
trying to destroy as much as possible going in uh, for the tunnels work riders with Sharku, Sharku is level 2 mm. uh, here we go mm, half from Marauders we got Aragorn on the field from Luigi but yeah uh, looks as well push back soon here comes Hurt uh, for um, Luxus to heal his units in the base. Uh, level 3 for Boromir, almost level 4. And he received uh, Horn of Gondor that already been used. Um, Aragorn on level 1, um, Armory on the Fortress. Goblin got uh, struggles to um, push back at the moment Isengard. Um, Isengard is going to recreate his work pet. He got um, still lots of work riders with Sharku, Sharku is on level 2 still another furnaces, here got some watcher, summon watcher from and from Goblin and he killed all of those war riders as we can see only one battalion um, is still alive another work pit will be thrown down by um, Gludar as we can see over here and there is another barrack I don't think so he got enough resources from the Wigit but okay it looks like that uh, Dwarf is going to fight against uh, man. As we can see, Luigi doesn't have a Horn of Gondor on his Boromir. He got Aragorn, I think he will receive level 2 at the moment, yeah. So Blade Master is available. But you don't want to fight with Gimli on level 5. That got Slayer ability available from himself. Stable is on level 3. Mm, now Luigi is going back to his base. And he's chased by forces of uh, dwarf. Here comes Watcher, an answer from from Gludar, as we can see. And now it's time for uh, Luigi to attack. I think is the best decision that he ma can make. Oh, Gimli! Gimli on his back. Definitely, you need to use this chance. good call here by, by Gludar but he got problems on his side of the map as we can see he got two mm, work pits I don't know why it's unusual to see a level 4 on Sharku we got another furnaces from Nathan but it's not upgraded to level 2 Goblin Caves get level 1 this get level 2 and this is still level 1 Nathan is um, definitely trying to push towards his opponent. He's stuck on those packments. He should definitely do something more with the, this amount of units. He's trying with uh, hop through murders, doing damage towards the farms. But in the end, he's doing nothing. He got those archer archers uh, over here in the base of his ally. His ally pushing towards uh, his teammate's base, uh, trying to protect it. Man is going to fall back. Um, lip have been used, but it's a little bit too late. And man is going to retreat. How about Gludar's uh, Sharku? It's going to be catched. Not really. Axe row have been used, but it's too late, I think. And now mm, we can see Nathan is trying to push uh, forward with his uh, half drum marauders. He's dealing enough damage towards Rohirrims and War Riders, definitely. And man got to retreat. In the meantime, Nathan is still dealing, dealing damage with uh, uh, with Haltrum Marauders towards uh, some structural lumber mills. So it's pretty good for um, AOW team. More and more um, units from Goblins, as it should be. Goblin is pushing forward, he should definitely take care about more and more farms. He's going for the barrack at the moment, I think. Or it's miscontrol of those uh, Haltrum Marauders. 
Cloud Break have been used and and Halter Murderous goes into the raw hirims to deal some more damage mm, before they can do it. Not the best decision because he could uh, kill uh, destroy some structures, but of course he just destroyed lots of units over here. Level five on another half of Murderous Battalion in the back of uh, Luigi's base. What we got here? Cripple have been used. Gimli got his in Slayer mode. Aragorn using his Blade Master. He's on level five as well. Lots of troops have been killed. I haven't seen him. Sorry, very much. Uh, Someone have been killed. Level six for uh, Boromir, so we get leadership at the moment. Gimli get to get away from here as fast as possible. Oh, more and more goblin warriors will appear. We got uh, Forge Works on level two at the moment. And he's chased by some uh, battalions over here and Boromir and uh, Aragorn. He shouldn't get back, he should use the lip to escape. He's moving forward. Nice lip, but I don't think so that he will survive this. He may use heal at the moment and trying to mm, go back, but I don't think so that Luxus has got a heal. We got Archer Angel level 3, we got um, Half Warriors on level 3, both of them actually. And he'll have been used on uh, Gimli, and Gimli should go over here, right over here. And those units should help him uh, stay alive. Miss uh, communication by OW players, I think. Oh, Aragorn and Boromir stopped them for a minute, but it will not save Gimli. It it saved him actually. Mm. This Gimli could be killed over here. Oh my god, here comes uh, Earthquake and it's going to be the end for Gimli. No, Gimli is still alive, but look at those... Look at everything over here. Nathan lost every, every last building and this uh, Gimli is going to be one hit at the moment. And I think that... Uh, Luigi may deal some nice damage over here. Horn of Gondor could be used over here. Blade Master is not available, but of course he may deal some damage towards the fortress if it's possible, or just get away if he don't doesn't want to get over here. Nice earthquake, nice uh, attempt to kill to kill uh, Gimli. Let's check the powerpoints for uh, players at the moment. So Luigi got uh, Elfwood, Summon Hobbit Alliance, Dunedain Rangers and Earthquake. His uh, teammate is going to get his ally, his opponent got 24 powerpoints, Watcher, mm, Whitesman of Dunland and uh, Cave Pads. As well as, at the moment, he got Drogov, Lord of the Dragons, and he will receive 25 power points shortly. How about uh, other players? We got Isengard, Gludar, and Gludar got uh, 10 power points, Krebine's um, Devastation, and Watcher. And the last player, which will be Dwarf, uh, he got Heal. Five power points, for, so we got uh, enough uh, power points for rebuild. Ranical, Hobbit Alliance, as well as uh, Cloud Break. So it's pretty good, pretty good setup for uh, every player. Sharku could be killed over here. Mm, Gluder is not aware uh, about where the Sharku is, and I think he will be killed and captured and killed over here. There is some beacon from Luigi to just uh, point his uh, opponent that there is something th that will happen on top of entire army of Rohirrim uh, summoned Balrog Luigi wasn't able to react in the right uh, time good catch here by our goblin player Nathan Nathan using uh, ignite of course as, as you should here we got uh, Gluder's uh, Lures on low and health. 
level 2 on Drogov. And where is this Nathan's Balrog going for? Maybe Brevo Fire on top of Fortress? Yes, Brevo Fire on top of Fortress uh, to the strength all those towers expansions. Oh, at least two and um, this uh, work pet. So it's a uh, nearly success. Drogov have been catched by Dunadine's Rangers with running goal. Um, Gludar's Luris is going down. And Balrog should definitely move forward over here. The strength as many as possible, as much as possible. Maybe even go for the heroes over here. Another um, Uruk pet is going down. Another Ignite is going to be used. Waste of time, to be honest. Uh, you are already ignited. Blade Master and Horn of Gondor have been used. Uh, all those. Uh, all those Dunadine Rangers have been killed. Dwarf is coming back to action. Another Urg, Urg pet going down. And uh, Nathan should definitely take care about more furnaces. Maybe even go over here with his Balrog. He shouldn't even attack uh, the fortress. Here comes Gimli. Gloin, rather. Gloin on the top of. Um, some sorts of Gondor, uh, he's going to slam or you can aim this Boromir or Aragorn one of them, just use Ignite and Whip no, it looks like the Nathan is doesn't aware what is going ha to happen with his Balrog he's getting him away another Breath of Fire destroying only one tower expansion Allen deal will be used uh, on Aragorn to push back all those uh, all those uh, pikemen. Luigi took heal and just use it uh, right away. Mm, work rider strength to destroy um, as much as possible, most likely tunnels. Here we see Mindshot is in danger as well. Gloin is pushing forward. And Balrog time ran out. Let's check other players' power points at the moment. Before we came back to everyone. Mm, so we got Nathan, already used Balrog. Mm, 16 power points for uh, Gludar. Mm, now he will receive 17. Enough resources because 3k. Mm, we got Cloud Break. And 20 power points uh, for Luxus. 20. Anyway, we got Fortress demolished a little bit from Nathan. Let's check all the players. Of course, Luigi with Earthquake. And now maybe it's time for um, Isengard to push forward. We can see that Gloin is trying to destroy the stables on level 3. And he will succeed it. But at on c uh, what cost? So stables for uh, Luigi is going down. A level 7 for Gloin. Mm, where is something more for our Dwarf and player? Work riders appear, they will deal some damage towards Goblin Warriors. Man is pushing forward with Boromir and Aragorn, with Blade Master. Mm, Horn of Gondor and, and a good time have been used. Stuns every last of Whitesman over here. And this PowerPoint goes to waste a bit. Geloin have been killed by soldiers of Gondor. Gluder is pushing forward with uh, Sharku and uh, Lures. And yeah, man doing definitely a good job over here. He can definitely push forward for a bit. We got Drogov up here. So it's his savior. 
throw a gov fireball on top of uh, rangers of course to kill them all and with this uh, Luigi will be pushed back he's still dealing damage of course but he knew that it's time to flee with hi with his heroes that's exactly what he's doing Here comes Glo Gimli again, level 7 almost. Level 3 on uh, Siege Works, as we can see. Everyone is in nice setup uh, over here. As you can see on minimap, everyone got uh, pretty much uh, their side of the map, a like quarter of the map for themselves, and they're doing pretty good. Goblin got uh, fully tunnel, full tunnel available for himself. Luigi and uh, Gludar, Gludar especially, uh, is still alive and he got all that he wants. Uh, he got uh, Saruman at the moment. Maybe he needs an upgrade yet, but he will work for it definitely. Forces of goblins just appear and uh, mm, dwarves. So, wizard blast uh, mm, can give a definitely successful. Let's see what's going to happen. Wizard blast, uh, there is a fireball. Horn of Gondor have been used as well. Slayer uh, ability is available. Uh, Creeple have been used. Aragorn uh, get, uh, doesn't have Blademaster. Gimli is in, in trouble, level 7 for um, Aragorn, almost Blade Master. He'll have been used uh, by Luxus. Elendil would be used. Let's push back. There is a heal for a um, uh, man player. He got Blade Master available as well as Atalas. Blade Master is on the run, and Gimli is going to die. Lurs is using his carnage as well. Here comes uh, Saruman. He's he just used his fireball, and entire army from Goblin and Dwarf have been pushed back uh, pretty easy. Now we got this Drogo for trying to deal some damage over the farms. There are some free battalions of Rangers. There is enough to take this Drogo down, so Nathan should be aware and get back. Level five for uh, for Gludar's lures, so he got leadership ability, fifty percent damage. This was hell of a fight, and uh, really good that um, Luxus and Gludar been able to push back. Now there is a mistake from a man from Luigi. He's pushing back only with his heroes. He doesn't have anything to appear over here. He should being his uh, teammate that he needs help. Atlas is a Bible, he's going to use it over here. How about uh, Boromir? Boromir will stay alive as well, so Nathan get back on him. Uh, still, um, Luigi is dealing damage towards uh, Luxus' uh, mine shafts with Swords of Gondor. Um, here comes uh, Gloin with uh, his slam ability, he could definitely use it out of Swords of Gondor and kill some of them even faster. Uh, here it comes. What we got over here? Here comes Drogo on level 4. And still, at last Gludar got his armory. He got another um, Uruk pet on the way. So he's going to spamming units. Oh, there was something. I think it was a Dragon Strike uh, from Gludar on top of uh, Nathan. So Nathan get again destroyed a bit. Here comes Watcher, an answer from um, Nathan. He got Scavenger available. This way he gain resources while he is killing units. Really good. Lots of Rangers flying away. Lots of uh, crossbones are flying away as well. Now it's time for uh, Nathan and Luxus to mm, try to get into those Rangers, kill them all. 
Here comes Sharku alone on level 5. Nathan get to be aware of those uh, rangers, he's using the fireball on top of them. Good catch over here. And now he may even deal some damage, but he decided to get back. Here comes Crossbones as well. Mm, so definitely good call by Dwar uh, by uh, by Goblin player to get back his uh, drug off for a moment. Pikemans with upgrades with um, Murphan Mail on them. Here comes Horn of Gondor uh, one more time to st and it stopped all those units. Here comes Longshot as well. Mm. Drogov is out of position, he should definitely get away over here and he'll be killed most likely. Here comes Water on top of entire army of, uh, of uh, Goblin. Here comes Cloud Break, it's Cloud Break from... from, 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 from... From dwarf, mm, blade master um, is available over here. We got this water killing everything over here. Mm, Hobbit the lion is trying to kill us as much as possible. Of those Dunedain's rangers. We got Weizman salmon over here. Uh, really, really, really. Nathan trying to stay alive. Elendil will be used to push uh, those Weizmann of Dunland back. Here we go uh, with Gloin versus uh, Boromir. And Hobbits will be killed. Mm. This Atlas have been used, uh, but Boromir was. Um, too much away. And here we go with Gluder one more time. He got all the heroes, even Warm Tonk on level 1. He's building and building. He got uh, Siege Works. Uh, he will get Siege Works in the minutes he gain uh, heavy armor and uh, Forge Blades as well for himself. And it's now Gluder and uh, Luigi. They're pushing back EOW the players. Here we get Saruman. Saruman should definitely use uh, this wizard blast as fast as possible and get away. Get away. He will not succeed it. He'll be killed by uh, Gimli and Gloin. Where is Aragorn? Bor Here is Lures. I don't know why Gluder is pushing back. He's going back. He should definitely deal damage towards, uh, towards Gimli. Pin him with, uh, with uh, Lures. He's not doing it. Lip will be used on top of rangers. All those rangers will go to fly. Level 9 for um, Gloin, almost level 10, so almost um, Shader Hammer available. And Isengard have been put back for a moment. He's upgrading his Siege Works to level 2 to get uh, access to Ballista. Still, man is trying to destroy some, some uh, mine shafts with Swords of Gondor and Tower Guards. Uh, Man and uh, Isengard is, are pushing forward. Uh, Aragorn is, have been killed. Pin have been used, but it's a little bit too late. Axfro have been used. Boromir is definitely going to die. Oh no, Shatterhammer have been used. Um, Slam have been used. Uh, really good, bad decision over here. Gimli is going to die. So both Gimli and Aragorn died in this setup. Boromir get away. Here comes Berserkers from an uh, Isengard player. Isengard got, of course, heavy armor and blades at the moment available from himself. And Dwarf is now pushed back. Luxus have been destroyed. I, haven't, I even haven't seen this. But yeah, Luxus mm, is on his own. Level 2, almost level 3 for uh, Warm Dog, and yes, Lux has decided to gi give back, <laughs> to give up um, 2 versus 1, he wasn't able to succeed it. Pretty much a great game, I got to say, lots of things happened, I wasn't able to even to pronounce everything in the time.
that appear a lot of spells at the same time have been used really good game by both sides uh, I was glad that I picked this replay and watched it and present it to you in this form of cast uh, I hope you enjoyed this one have a fantastic day and see you next time bye bye